giveaway. Yes, we are almost reaching 5K. I think we're actually at like 4.7, a little bit over that. So yeah, that's a little bit crazy. And I figured that to show my appreciation for you guys, I would do a 5K giveaway. I've been wanting to do a giveaway for a very, very, very long time, but I was just waiting for the right time, and I thought that this was appropriate. Basically, this giveaway is just for the cake decorator who's just starting out. Some things that I love that I feel like I can't work without at this point, just some necessities. So let me tell you guys what will be in the box. I'm so excited. Get out of here. Okay. Firstly, this is something that I went crazy over when I first got mine. This is a silicone piping bag. Not many cake supply stores have these silicone piping bags and they're not even that popular, unfortunately, for some odd reason. They are like little amazing little things and I'm not going to take anything out of the plastic because I don't know about you guys, but when I get new stuff, I like it to be in the wrapper that it came in. Yeah, I think it has a 400 degree maximum um, heat that it can come into contact with. I love these because they're so pliable. They are so easy to work with. They have that rubber feel so that you're not, when you pipe, it's not slipping out of your hand, you know what I mean? Easier than plastic and easier than paper and it just makes so much sense. It makes sense. I hope whoever gets this, I hope that you try it out and tell me how much you like it, if you like it as much as I do. You are also going to get a fondant and gum paste rolling pin and this is different from the dough rolling pins of course it's not wooden it's plastic and it has these rubber bands on the ends that you can leave on they help you to level whatever you're rolling out so the purple one is a little bit thicker than the pink one and that would of course give you a thicker measurement for whatever you're rolling out and the pink would give you thinner or you could go without them and just you know just roll freely at first I did not get the importance of using a plastic rolling pin compared to using a wooden rolling pin when it came to fondant and gum paste but it just doesn't stick as much it makes so much sense now that I know and it does make the fondant look a lot better this one is approximately nine inches so it's definitely good for those little things that you have to do with the little detail work not big enough to cover a whole cake but you can give it a shot because that's what I do all the time so yeah this will be in your box Gum paste tools. Now, gum paste tools are definitely a necessity when it comes to fondant and gum paste flowers, figures, you know, animals and people. Little detailed work, that's what these are made for and they work absolutely amazing. There's actually some in here that I don't have. Like, I don't know what this stick one would be for, but I'd use the mess out of it. You're going to get a cake smoother and these are awesome for cakes when you're covering them in fondant. It really does make a difference when you're smoothing the fondant out on the top with your hand compared to when you use this. It actually really helps with the neatness, the leveling of the cake, just everything. So you could use one or two. You would just kind of do this. This knocks out all of the air bubbles on the top of the cake once you've applied the fondant. And then you can go down and make a nice sharp edge you know, around your cake. I just wanted you guys to have this because if you don't have one, you'll definitely see the difference and you'll definitely thank me and I'll be like, you're welcome, you know. I knew that you wanted one of these. Guess what? I'm going to get for you a fondant mat because I love mine so much. This one is mine, okay? Yours is in the mail, but yours is actually blue, which is, I'm a little bit jealous because, you know, blue is my favorite color. I would love to have the blue one, but that one's yours. It's still wrapped in the plastic and everything. If you follow the channel, then you know that I did a review on this fondant mat and I fell in love with it. I use it for everything beyond rolling out fondant and gum paste. You can bake on it, like you can bake cookies on it, you can bake scones, whatever. It can go in the oven for I think up to 400, 450 degrees. If you would like to see that review, just click down below in the description after this video. Another serious necessity that you guys may or may not have, a tape measure. You definitely have to measure out your cakes. You have to measure out your fondant, your cakes, the, the height, the width of everything. It even comes in handy with decorating. To make my nautical wedding cake, the one that I did the vlog for, I actually put some navy blue fondant down, put a tape measure down. I just basically took a pizza cutter and I went all the way down. And this is how I make perfect strips each time. There is a a groundhog or something outside of the window. 
And I want so bad for you guys to see what I'm seeing right now. Look, is that a groundhog? What is that? That's a groundhog. Oh, he's huge. Oh my goodness, I wonder if he likes cake. I wonder if I throw him cake if he'll eat it. Or if it had like grass on top or something. There is just a big groundhog. I wonder if I shine like a big beam of light if it would see its shadow and then run away. Not that it could see it in the grass. There, that thing is chowing down. Look at him. You're on candid camera. Oh, snaps. Or is that a... Oh, okay. Peace out. I also got you guys some baking cups. If you want to bake, you usually need baking cups to do that. Got you guys a silicone spatula. Silicone is definitely preferred when it comes to cake decorating and baking because you may need to make chocolate ganache or something on the stove and silicone allows you to keep that on the stove up to I think about 400 degrees. Also got you guys some yellow, gray, and white zigzag cupcake liners. These are really cute. There's 48 in the pack and I think this is a cool little addition to the uh, giveaway. Alright, like I said, go down to the bottom of this video, check out the rules for this a giveaway and I will talk to you guys soon. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.